Hi folks, a very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, I'm on the Sega Genesis or Mega Drive, depending on where you are in the world. And this one is a shooter called Galaxy Force 2, published by Sega in 1991. The original Galaxy Force was in the arcades in 1988, and I believe this was just like a, well, it's tied it up a bit and an extra couple of uh, levels there. We've already reviewed this game on the Commodore Amiga way back in 2016, so we'll see how this one plays. Over six levels, you're in a spaceship. Here we go. Right, okay, select level. Don't always have to start on the uh, same level each time. So I'm in this ship here, very similar to the game After Burner, which is a little bit more famous here. But go from left to right, up and down, don't get shot and shoot all the other things. Now, my energy is in the middle, gradually going down. You can see my shield on the left, so don't get hit, so you can take it more than a few shots. On the right, we've got energy bonus. Now, oh, this is a, a power-up, I think. Now, the energy bonus is important, because the more things you shoot, the greater energy bonus you get, which is put into your timer in the middle, so you can last longer in the next stage. And what I'm saying is, don't shoot enough stuff, and you're in big bother. And I haven't been shooting a great deal of things here, so I could be in big bother. We're on mission one. Here comes an asteroid storm or meteor shower. I'm not expert gameplay, everyone knows this. I say it over and over again, so sorry for that. Uh, but some people don't realise. Whoops, I should have got some upgrades there. Never mind. Uh, Ninkapoop play, seeing you got on your first or second go. Now, from memory, um, it seems a little bit smoother than the Commodore Amiga version. Um, it's okay, really. The Mega Drive's got a bit of power to be able to do these a little bit better than the Commodore Amiga. Although the Commodore Amiga did uh, have a bit of a punch itself. Right, now, this is the second part, so it's open air, and we've got tunnels as well, which will get more and more complex. Uh, listen out for a robot voice, or either say either left or right, maybe not on level one, because it seems fairly straight here. But anyway, it's fairly easy to survive level one, I think, but I haven't really shot enough stuff. You see, my energy bonus is only 90, so we're probably going to run out of energy somewhere on the next stage if I can get that far. And the shield is broken. I've taken too many shots. If you had this game back in the day, let me know. I'm liking what I've seen. It doesn't seem like a... Oh, right. It's, it's seem, not seeming like a stellar title. But what is there would suffice. I mean, don't get me wrong. Afterburner, although it's more famous, the scrolling that wasn't the best in the world. But it, it was okay. And this is right level with that. And it's got the additional bit of these tunnel stages uh, there going left and right. So, uh, as I say, as a kid into space stuff, I probably would have played this quite a bit, you know. What's that? Any level boss? Shoot that. I think that's level one done, but my energy bonus is only 350. And I don't think that's going to be enough to survive, because that's going to go down all the time. And we've got no shields. It's on to stage two. Stage two. Stage two or six. So it's a fairly short game then, I would have thought. Be interested to see if there's any continues here. If you are currently travelling through space in a wiggly ship, going up and down, shooting enemies, then let us know in the comment section below as we go to the lava planet. Hopefully it's not upper lava planet. Do do do. Music is okay. A bit generic. I never played uh, Galaxy Force in the arcades, but yeah, do check out the Amiga version. I might sound a bit different because my style's gradually changed over the years. That was eight years ago, but time recording anyway. Doesn't time play. Doesn't time play. Right, power up. What power up is it going to give me here? Don't know, probably extra weapons and stuff, but it hasn't, effect, hasn't done me good in the shields. Now, whenever you see the enemies, whenever there's a white circle around them, shoot. Because, as I say, that's your opportunity, your small opportunity to take them all out. Not a dinner. And that's when you can get your energy bonuses. See, my energy, my energy ran out there, and it's game over. Game over. I'm available for voiceover work. Why, why isn't the phone ringing? Why aren't I getting the messages? See, I'm top of the leaderboard. So it's okay. Galaxy Force 2. In the style of Afterburner. Roger. So if you like Afterburner, Roger. you'll like Galaxy Roger. Force 2. But there we go. It's fairly f uh, fair gameplay. Fairly fair. You're not going to die straight away. And as I say, you can take a few hits without being killed because it works on shielding. So Galaxy Force 2, uh, based on Galaxy Force and the arcade in 88, I would say. Right, let's, let's do a different stage now. Let's start here. Bit of variety, this looks like a forest moon or forest planet, not Endor. Do 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 do, music is the same here. Right, so remember, shoot as much stuff as possible. Maybe I should have taken out those ground uh, emplacements. Anyway, I'm making the same mistakes all over again. Well, well done me for making the same mistakes. So if you play this now, after seeing my first go, you'll have a bit of knowledge of how it plays. Shoot everything you possibly can. 
and uh, you'll probably do a little bit better. But, uh, I'm, I'm, sitting, I'm sort of like letting the, uh, the ground people off there. Is that my shield reactivating itself? Well, happy days. Not happy days with the funds. Oh, God. Right. Power up. What's that going to give me? Not absolutely sure, but never mind. Du -du 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 -du. It's not as wild as Afterburner, is it? You've got more space. Uh, you have to include Space Harry in these sort of games. They're sprite scaling, aren't they, really? So things are coming at me being scaled by the computer. Sprite scaling, spaceship shooting. Uh, no nonsense fun. You don't have to think a great deal. Uh, good fun, really. Try and get as far as you can. Does feel like I'm in the arcades, which is good. I'm in the arcades. I'm not putting the money in. Uh, the Mega Drive has some great arcade conversions. The quality of these games is uh, pretty standard, pretty good. You can't argue this one. You wouldn't get saying that it was pure, pure duff. That is, that is for sure. If you are currently playing something that's pure duff, then comment below. Or if you're drinking a beer that's called pure duff, comment also. Especially if you're Homer Simpson. Right, I'm penetrating the enemy fortress. I'd imagine there'd be more left and right turns now. This being a, a further stage. Left turn. Right, okay. Is that left or is it red? Well, Miss Hood. Perhaps he's giving me, giving me duff information. Left turn, yeah, he's got it right there. Left. Don't bump into the walls. That affect your shielding. Oh, uh, look at that. It's getting a bit low now. It's in the red. Oh, 221, 212. Not looking overly good. Right. Oh, we're back. Extra energy, 652. So I got a bonus there. That's good. So each stage is gradually a lot bigger than the one before. We've gone to some sort of like dark greeny area, but still the same stage. Okay, so that's that's the rub then. There is quite a bit of content here then. Stage one is shorter. Which, thank goodness for that. Still says mission one though up the top there. Never mind. Do 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 do. I mean, I'm enjoying this. Why am I enjoying it for? Don't know. It's not much to it. It's quite generic, but I am enjoying the thing. Right, penetrate the enemy fortress again. Right, away we go. Just avoid getting blasted by those things. Energy starting to get a bit low again. We're in the last 500. 500. Left turn. A good old, a good old shooter space game. If you have a Mega Drive or a Mega Drive Mini, uh, at least try and have a go at this one. You can track it down. Let me know what you think. Uh, will you get very far indeed? You might be watching this because you've got one of the Mega Drive Mini things. Uh, but um, yes, let me know what you think of that one. Hopefully I've given you a bit of an idea. If you want to see other Mega Drive games you could possibly be playing, they're in a playlist. There's a link to those in the description below. Uh, or you can click on my username, take to the channel page, have a look around there, but click on the playlist tab and see all the systems we uh, covered there in uh, different uh, listings. Please subscribe if you haven't already, that goes without saying, and a big thank you to those people who subscribed already. In our stress busting Nink and Poop adventure, oops, look at the energy, look at the enemy, look at the energy, oh, got that with 30 to go. The en end enemy don't take too much to uh, destroy, but once again, my energy bonus is quite weak. I don't think 529 is going to cut it too much on the next stage. See, I got through the stage again. A bit longer. Away we go. Mission 2. So regardless of what stage you, you start on, it always counts up the missions from Mission 1 in the start on the last one. And it's interesting seeing the different graphics each time and the different environments. That's nice. But essentially it's the same game. Energy bonus zero. That's on. I ain't got enough fuel to get anywhere. Avoid bumping into a big pillar, both in the game and in real life. If you're currently uh, in a spaceship and have gone light speed into a pillar, then comment in the comment section below. That bit's the equivalent of afterburner when you hit the uh, the main uh, aircraft refueler thing. Do do do. Oh gold, what's that? Something weird's coming at me here. Do do do. It's fairly gentle, isn't it? It's fairly gentle and nice. You get the uh, you get the impression that you can get somewhere in this game. It's not going to be uh, nastily difficult, which is what you like to see as we head towards a planet which might be Saturn. Maybe we were on one of Saturn's moons, and it's game over again. Only because I ran out of energy. I didn't shoot quite enough stuff. Boing, 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 boing. I, I quite like this game. You know, it's not. It's fairly predictable in what it does, but what it does is quite well. Six levels, seems like you can jump to any of those levels. It's an upgrade on the Amiga version, and it's a good arcade conversion too. So I highly recommend this. Could be a little bit better, but not, not a great deal. I think there's enough there to warrant it as a, as a play. So not sure what the ratings were back in the day, but I liked it anywho. So I hope you like to have a look at that as it goes into demo mode. That was Galaxy Force 2 on the Sega Genesis and Mega Drive, published by Sega in 1991, uh, based on the arcade game Galaxy Force, and the arcade in 88, also by 
Sega. Got any comments about this game, similar games, or anything retro? Well, please put that in the comment section below. You're more than welcome. Until next time, take great, great, great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye. Anyway, I'm making the same mistakes all over again. Well, well done me for making the same mistakes.